there was a rookie officer back in 2019 um, that was apparently training. And he was caught on video, as you may see here, groping and sexually assaulting a woman during a normal routine traffic stop. And now the body cam evidence has been released. Let's watch what happened. Do me a favor, bring her back here, okay? This is one time it, it's best to bring her back here okay. because of the traffic on Greenwood, okay? All right. He's got me down. Like, okay, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. You don't care about checking out, do you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on. Stop, Jesus. stop. Time, time out, time out. Thanks. Go back there. Go back there. So Man, do you have anything on you? No. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Just hang tight right here, okay? Can I just shut my the yeah, door? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can shut the door and let. Is that your daughter? So, um, there that was that uh, back and forth, that situation with this particular officer that was pulled off to the side by his fellow officer there. So this has happened in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and now the city does have to pay the victim for damages after that officer then assaulted her, as you saw there. So let's get in the details of what they uh, they had to do here. The taxpayers of Louisville, Kentucky were put on notice this week that they'll be shelling out tens of thousands of dollars to pay for the disgusting actions of one of Louisville's finest. The money is part of a settlement for a lawsuit filed against the city after a woman was groped by that officer, Tyler Gelnett. And according to the lawsuit, Kelly Coates was with her boyfriend and family when she was pulled over by police. Again, this is in January of 2019 for a routine traffic violation. And during that stop, Gelnett claimed to quote, smell marijuana and ordered Coates out of the vehicle before inappropriately placing his hands in her crotch area and then into her underwear. And that was up near the front of the car. That's according to the lawsuit. So after he assaulted her in front of the car, Gilnett then moved her to the back of the vehicle where a second assault took place as you saw there on the video. This time, this is in full view of the other officer that was on the scene. So let's watch more of how that officer, the second officer handled the situation when he pulled the first one away. Uh, he's training. He's, he's training. Yeah, he's supposed to call a woman to, to really actually pass <laughs> actually, it down. Actually, it's with with male officers. It's supposed to be the back of the hand. Yeah. So as soon as he did the he did it wrong, ma'am, ma'am, listen to me, ma'am. Can you turn around? I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. just the way he, he did. He's, he's he's a new officer. I'm training he, him. Put his, I'm not, like, I, that's, his that's, fingers. That's why. I'm sorry. I thought only no, a no, female. No, no. I don't have anything on me. Ma'am. Only a female officer. Is Ma males can search females, but we are we are supposed to use the back of our hands. That's a violation, right? So sir. that's why, as soon as I saw him, I stopped him, told him to go to the back of the park. Okay. Okay. It's all being recorded. I want to let you know that. I want you to reassure you of that. Okay. Is that your daughter in the car? That's my niece. That's okay. Niece. All right, I know she's probably a little worried. If you want to let her know everything's okay, all right. all right, you can. All right, now I need to check and just make sure that there's no marijuana in the car. Understand. He already told me that y'all smoked earlier, okay? I want to reassure you. Once we do that, be on your way, okay? Yes, sir. Okay? You okay, ma'am? I'm oh, listen, listen. It was just, I've never had nobody. I, I, know. Was, I know. It was awkward. It's, as soon as I saw it, that's why I stopped him. And I want to personally apologize to you, okay? Yes. I want to personally apologize. So that second officer goes through extensive work to let her know that that's not how the training goes. And I'm training him right now. And that that's why I pulled him away. And that's not what he's supposed to do. All these things to explain the situation. So really fast, Agent, before I let you break this down. The officer then told the couple that Gelnet would be held accountable for his actions. That's what he went on to detail there. And it's unclear if any, what if any punishment Gelnet faced after groping Coates as the department refused to admit fault in the lawsuit, despite the officer admitting fault in that video that you just saw there, Adrian. Yeah, that was quite disgusting. Yeah. Uh, without question. And the thing is that it's very difficult to think that the officer didn't know what he was doing. Um, you know, they've been trained in various ways and just to conduct a basic pat down search, you know, it doesn't involve any kind of uh, digital penetration or just the way in which he had aggressively groped her and the fact that he did it more than once. This officer seems to be very much a sexual predator. Uh, it just, it really, it is, I have no words. Yeah, what is it about being trained? And being new to the force to not realize that you don't do that to folks, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, um, you're not performing, a, you know, a gynecological exam. Get out of here. Yeah, and then so then there's so many factors here because then, as they mentioned, her boyfriend. I assume that's the boyfriend there, uh, standing there, has to watch, and then not do anything about it. Because then, if 
if any other normal human reaction, if Officer Gelnick Tyler, I think is if Tyler walks up in the street at 10 o'clock at night outside of a restaurant and does this, there's no just standing there, you know? Mm -hmm. But for some reason, in this particular situation, not for some reason, we know the reason. In this situation, you have to stand there and just say she feels violated. Yeah. No, she's not okay. Absolutely not. This is a violation. So it's it's that's all you get to say. And so you have to have this level of control when this happens, but then they can go through this entire process. And I see the second officer trying to explain everything away. But if you're training him, how come this hasn't been covered yet? Yes, yes. And also it would just seem commonsensical that no, you're not performing a pap smear. Like, are you out of your mind? And then on top of it, um, just I just feel so incredibly bad for these individuals because people might look at them and like you said, of just kind of standing there. And to some extent, uh, you see the woman look like she's smiling and someone with, dimple, with dimples, I can say she's not smiling, she's talking. And you can see my dimples when I speak. And she's also dealing with a situation where she's just been sexually assaulted by an officer and she can't do anything about it. So she's trying to to handle it the best she can. And I just, I would imagine she feels incredibly powerless in that moment. Incredibly um, powerless. Yeah, and, and then you think, what can I do? By the way, um, maybe somewhat connected to this, maybe definitely connected to this. This particular officer, as we mentioned, wasn't getting reprimanded, but he did a year later leave the force Good. and reprimanded for it. You might want to wonder what that could be about. Let's look at that. Um, he may have known that what he was doing is what this particular article is still talking about. Given what unfolded a year later, Gelnick could have been looking for marijuana to give to his girlfriend, is what this particular article wonders. As WDRP reports in November of 20, Gelnick was charged with official misconduct and drug trafficking for allegedly seizing marijuana while handling cases, but then giving it to a woman he was in a relationship with. He resigned from the department and pleaded guilty to official misconduct just last year. And it started in 2019. So he's he had a, a this rookie cop <laughs> had a, 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 I guess a habit of breaking up some, some marijuana dealings and then keeping it for himself and his girlfriend. So mm -hmm. as they smell marijuana coming out of the car, we wonder if this is just another opportunity for his fix. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if somebody is um, essentially sexually violating other people, uh, using and abusing their power, I could have told you that they were involved in something else that was completely and totally illegal. Right. Like, get out of here. You had all the warning signs in the world. So this police department keeping him on, they're just damn fools, but they have no excuse whatsoever. And it's it's sad to hear that this woman was paid tens of thousands of dollars, because I would want it to be at least seven figures minimum. Because uh, the fact that they just kept this officer on, I, and I am grateful to that officer who acknowledged Hey, this is wrong and this is recorded. Like, we need more officers like that. Someone who will say what's up, even if it's against his boy in blue, and is not is not afraid of saying, yo, that's not okay. You need to step away. That's that's unacceptable behavior. We need more officers like that. Doing some level of the work. I, I totally agree.